I've shown a lot of cool science gifts these past few years, but what about the bad ones? Well, first up, this is the worst one I've ever purchased. It's marketed as a Foucault's pendulum, and it's based on an actual one, which you might have seen in a museum, and is legitimately cool. It's a long and heavy pendulum that swings over a long period of time, showing Earth's rotation, and is a cool way to tell time. But unless I'm missing something, this device doesn't demonstrate that at all. When dropped, it just draws a pattern in the sand and comes to rest within a minute or so. I really don't get how they're claiming it's based on Earth's rotation, and unless I'm missing something, it's definitely misleading. Next, this is a Lego tensegrity structure. The idea for this is cool, and it's based on other tensegrity structures that appear to defy physics by only being held up by tension and strings. But the quality on this was lacking in my opinion. It's not an official Lego product, so I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, but the blocks didn't stick together that well, and even when they did, it's not sturdy at all and leans despite my best efforts to adjust it. Maybe it was skill diff on the build or I got a bad one because other people seem to have a better experience, but I was underwhelmed. Last up, this is a hypno gizmo. Spinning this kinetic toy slowly causes the beads to fall along strings, and I'll admit it's pretty cool to look at, but my main complaint was that it came as a pretty bad kit. Normally I'm fine with kits, but this one was a headache to assemble, and to make matters worse, I misinterpreted one small instruction and had to undo and redo the entire thing. Those are my least favorite from this year, but if you're looking for good options, you can check out my Cool Science Finds playlist, or go to my website to see them all.